Hi folks, Mrs. Johnson here. Again, I'm sorry I'm missing class, but this is the last day for the school year. Here's the plan for today. Our first priority is gonna to be to take care of the rock candy. Um, I've been keeping an eye on it over the last couple of days and we have mixed results. So I think, hopefully you've checked out your rock candy. Everybody's gonna fall into one of these three categories, I think. Number one, my rock candy rocks. If that's you, I'll give you instructions in a moment. Number two, I don't have any rock candy because I don't see any sugar crystals. That's also a few of you. I'll tell you what to do about that. And then number three, I have way too many sugar crystals. Again, some of you are experiencing this, so we'll talk about how to fix that as well. If you're in the number one group, my rock candy rocks, you can take your rock candy out, enjoy it, eat it. Uh, the big thing that you're going to need to focus on is cleanup you'll find that this stuff is really sticky and very hard to clean up. We want everything thoroughly unstuck though, nice and clean before we um, leave the classroom. So here's the process for cleaning it up. As you begin to rinse out your test tube, you're probably gonna find that there's sugar crystals stuck on the side or you can't get it all out or it's sticky and syrupy inside even if you don't have any sugar crystals. So the way to get all that sticky syrupy stuff out is to use a water bath setup. So I have a hot plate in front of me. You would wanna take a hot plate, put it out on your table, if you really have tons of sugar crystals um, in your test tube, you're going to need to let this water bath set up sit for quite a while. So you'll take a beaker, fill it around halfway full with normal water, and then set it on your hot plate. Take your dirty rock candy test tube, whether it's syrupy inside, sugary outside, or sugary inside, submerge it into your water bath. Right? Turn on your hot plate to high and just let it heat up. If you want to, you can occasionally stir in here. If you've just got a sir syrupy, sticky mess, you can add some hot water in here as well. Um, that'll help loosen it up. But if you've got all the sugar crystals on the side, just let it sit for a while. Add a little water to it, stir it, until those crystals come off the side, they loosen up. Eventually, whatever is stuck on the insides of here should be loosened up enough that you can get it out with water and a scrub brush and Alkanox. So scrubbing these alone is not going to be enough. We've got to use some really powerful soap cleaner. This is fine to get on your hands. Just wash them afterwards. Um, this is the good stuff. It's going to get the insides really clean. So once you get everything dissolved, use the Alkanox cleaner and a scrub brush. I have all of that stuff out by the deep sink. So if you are in the second boat, I ain't got no rock candy, or I don't see any sugar crystals, uh, you're going to use a similar technique, but you'll have to add some more sugar. So I'm worried that some of you may have skipped a little step on your lab that said add an extra cup of sugar uh, once you get your first round of sugar dissolved. If you look back and realize that you didn't add enough sugar, you're gonna need to take your beaker, fill it halfway up with water, take your current rock candy that has no sugar crystals in it, take your little T-shaped wooden stick out, so we just want the sugar solution, Put it in your water bath. So this, this beaker should be halfway full. Set up your water bath. You may want to clamp your um, test tube into place so that it's easier to stir. That's up to you. Um, you want to get this hot, right? So get it heated up. Heat your water bath. That heat will transfer to the test tube. Add some more sugar if you didn't add enough. You don't want to add a ton, but you can do a hefty pour. Think like a few tablespoons in your head. Um, hefty pour. Stir it with a brand new clean stir rod out of this package. Stir it until it dissolves. Then set your warm test tube back up once it's all completely dissolved. Put your rock candy stick in. Make sure it's got some sugar grains on the outside for a starter. Set it up and we'll check it after the weekend. If you're done with rock candy and you just want to clean up, that's fine. But you're, you're welcome to give it a second try as well. And then if you're in the third group where you have way too many sugar crystals, you're going to do the exact same technique. Set up your water bath, right? Fill it halfway full with water. Put it on your hot plate. Put your full of sugar test tube into the water bath. Clamp it into place. Dissolve all of that sugar. You're not going to add any more sugar because you got plenty. But just make sure it all gets really thoroughly dissolved. My guess as to why you had too many crystals forming is probably because it wasn't fully dissolved in the first place. Um, and they started to crystallize all over the outside of the container and just went kind of crazy. If you can get it all dissolved, put a clean stick in here into the test tube once it's all dissolved. Make sure you've got some sugar crystals on the stick. Uh, you should be good to go. 
right? And then you'll set yours up, let it wait over the weekend. Okay. In any case, you guys, remember, glassware that touches the, the candy should be clean. So these brand new stir sticks are fine. Uh, anything that is dirty needs to get really thoroughly cleaned and if our glassware rack is full please put there's an announcement please please put away some of the glassware so that we make room we don't want just wet dishes hanging out on the counter All right once you have handled your rock candy priority numero dos is to get caught up in your lab notebook. Make sure you finish the questions on the Rock Candy Lab. Make sure you go back, finish questions on your old labs if you are missing them. And then priority numero trace, if we have time, is a solubility test quiz review. So before finals, we will have one more last, it's a combination of a test quiz, it's, it's a little bit longer than a quiz, but not quite a test, on solubility and solutions. So I have a test review printed out for you. You can go ahead and get started on that. It's not weekend homework, uh, but especially seniors who may be out some next week, you want to get started on that. We'll review it next week before the test, um, but it's a good chance to, to kind of get a leg up and get started early. All right, so those are the three tasks for today. Clean up your rock candy, number one. Number two, finish your notebook. Number three, work on the test review. Have a great day, and I will see you all after Memorial Day.